All right, stocks are stable this morning after yesterday's sell-off. Here now is Jim Cramer on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. So, Jim, what do you make of the market movements look, we're seeing? It's all a bond market. It's all you have to look at. It's really incredible sometimes when it's so simple. Um, the tenure, if it goes to 2-1, we, go, we sell off. If it goes to 2-3, we go up. And that's because right now there's the bond market is telling us whether the economy's weak or whether the economy's strong enough for a rate hike. If we are strong enough for rate hike, then the transports can turn around and the banks can turn around, and you'll see good good uh, money going into the growth stocks. Mm -hmm. uh, if the interest rates do go down, then there'll be a reversion back out of all that. Mm -hmm. And the reason why that happens is because that's just a sign that there's too much trouble when you have rates go down from this level. And too much trouble is bad for everything. Uh, rates go up, it's a sign of health. So just be aware, you watch this whole rally from the ugly opening, which I love. My friend Matt Horwey and I go back, he's my writing partner, go back and forth. That ugly opening was fabulous, okay? It shook out some people, gave you a chance to buy one more time, and then interest rates inched up. And that's what caused the turn, but it will go right back down if interest rates continue to go down. All right, so watch that 10-year. Let's move yes, on to... that's important. The 10-year is in charge. 10-year is in charge. Yeah. All right, let's move on to earnings. Actual earnings plus holding Cisco. All right, look, we had an interesting conversation. I, I sent... The way Action Alerts works is, and we had a very big conference call yesterday, I really urge you to join, um, is that I am as tough as possible. Now, I try to be tough and fair in the interview. Um, I felt better about the idea that some of the orders that are missed are going to come back. I felt better that the competition of Huawei is not, is not taking huge amount of business. I felt not so great about the percentage of business that is software as a service versus old legacy hardware of routing and switching. That's 31%. I felt that they need to do an acquisition with their 68 billion in cash in order to be able to make it so that they move their business faster to software. Now, this is a very similar situation to IBM, very similar to that, right down to the yield. And I would feel great if the president were on his game because they've got the best repay, they have 60, they have 68 billion overseas. Uh, but we, the president's off his game. So it's also a measurement of that. And I put it all together and I say, we're gonna take it to a one. Um, uh, action alerts people know exactly what that means. And, and I feel that at a 3.7% yield, they're paying you to get it right. June analyst meeting, Chuck's a straightforward guy. They give you a look, a forecast based on that day not based on how they are feeling ahead, and therefore it was more negative than it may be in reality. Oh, it was a great interview with Chuck Robbins. Thank you. All right, let's also talk about Walmart. You talked about that on Mad Dash. Look, it's now Walmart versus Amazon. Now this is it. Uh, Walmart has figured out what to do. Walmart knows that Amazon's Achilles heel is fresh food. It, absolutely the Achilles heel. Walmart can offer it. It's very hard for Amazon to ship fresh food. Now, maybe Amazon does some same-day delivery, but that's a very expensive. I don't know whether that would eat into their margins for Prime. They might not care initially, but in the end, I think Walmart's got a formula. And uh, no one else can compete with Walmart because no one else is in a position where they have a CEO, Doug McMillan, who's backed by a family, and he's done a remarkable job. He raised uh, wages, which has then therefore kept people much longer. He used to have a lot of turnover there. They've got a strategy, and this isn't even Jet.com. Uh, and I am uh, thrilled to see that because what it says is a young man comes in and takes a situation that had been a wasting asset and he's turning it around. It's still early, but he's doing it. All right, staying with e-commerce and retail, what about Alibaba? Alibaba is a revenue story, but we didn't know that. And we always thought it was an earnings and revenue story. They came out with a number that did not do the earnings, but they did do the revenue. So, uh, and the revenue was incredibly fast. If the stock had not run up, I think we would feel better about it. Small buyback, not insignificant. But in the end, uh, BABA remains something I like because of that revenue growth. All right, and then on stop trading on Stock on the Street, you talked about a center retail. Yeah, the, this is just a sad story. This is, this is uh, Dress Barn, it's Ann Taylor, it's Maurice, it's Justice. And they basically just say, look, the secular uh, headwinds are just too great right now. They have 4,900 4, stores. Uh, I would not want to be their landlord right now. I think they need, you know, they uh, they have to close some stores, I think. A lot of stores, maybe. Uh, there's, uh, the clock is ticking. Hmm. All right, and then we'll end with earnings to watch. We've got Foot Locker. Foot Locker it could be like Children's Place. Uh, Children's Place had a remarkable quarter. Jane Elfers continues to do everything right. 
uh, children's place is a place where you have to try on clothes for kids because kids change size, <laughs> and that's why children's place done well. Uh, Foot Liquor, same deal. You got to try them on. And when you have to try them on, that does not uh, make it right for Amazon because feet change in size when you're growing up. So when you look at why Foot Locker and Children's Place have dodged the mall bullet, it has to do with the need to be personal and change and look at sizes. All right, Jim Kramer, as always, thank you so thank much. You. And for more on the stocks Jim mentioned, please head back to thestreet.com.